Please be water. Oh, <laughs> oh what an escape. Welcome to the flip side, and welcome to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved, where, look, here's the deal. The dog is not asleep. She's actually a little bit riled right now. See, I bought her a brand new toy, a gigantic pink elephant, and she's having a whole lot of fun playing with that today, but she is running to and fro amongst the house, so we may have a couple puppy stoppages today, but... Today is the day that we get our first Megatherium, and you say, you might be saying, Jacob, how do you know? It's because I will not quit until we succeed, or, you know, die. So maybe it won't be, but it will be. So here's the thing. We have done a little bit of grinding off camera, including making several runs to the volcano and back to get tons of metal. Just figured I would do that off camera. It took like an hour or so and just went back and forth for a while. Got a bunch of metal so we could just let that cook off in the background we've collected a, a decent amount of materials we could technically make ourselves a full set of flak armor and you know what let's go ahead and do that because the megatheriums like to spawn over in the arctic biome and oh no 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 let's hold on to these we're going to keep the chitin armor in our inventory just in case we get ourselves into a pickle and our flak armor breaks. But we'll go ahead and be prepared. And then we are going to take... Uh, ooh, encumbered. Next time we level up, we've got... Ooh, maybe we should make a tame a mantis. We got that ascendant mantis saddle in there. Um, let's see, how encumbered are we? Okay, next time we level up, we're going to have to spend some points in upgrading our weight capacity. Because right now we are running a bit heavy. And I don't really have anything that I can really drop. So we might just have to work with what we got. Let's see. Weight. We haven't upgraded our weight at all. That's a mistake. We should, we should put a little bit of points in to weight. And I think what I'll do is I'm actually going to adjust the stats uh, that we're playing on just a bit. And the only stat I'm going to change is the weight multiplier so just how much effect putting one point into weight actually has just so that we don't have to deal with being encumbered as frequently because that could be kind of annoying so i think i might increase that just a little bit but uh we'll do that in a subsequent playthroughs for the time being we are just going to make what we have work and we are going to head over to the winter biome or the arctic biome whatever you like to call it and hopefully find ourselves some megatheriums because as I was looking on a island spawn map, they do spawn in the redwoods as we found out when we found that megatherium that we almost tamed, but it ran away from us. Uh, what we, so obviously megatheriums spawn over there, but they're actually more commonly spawning up in the Arctic biome. So that is where we're going to go. It is a dangerous place. There are you tyrannuses that we want to watch out for. Packs of dire wolves we got to watch out for. Uh, and, of course, the very rare and occasional Giga, which we have to watch out for. Oh, I think my dog might be asking to go outside. Okay, hold on. Puppy break. Wow. She is so good. She is learning so fast. I've been giving her more free reign in the house when I'm here. And so she doesn't always sit in the office with me anymore. I let her kind of roam the house. And she was just scratching at the back door to let me know that she needed to go outside. Thankfully, my puppy paternal paternal puppy instincts kicked in. And I could hear her tiny little paw against the glass door in the other room. And she went outside and she pooped. She's so good. She's so, so good. The only time she's had accidents in the house lately has been when a new guest comes over somebody that she knows and she gets really excited and she kind of pees herself a little bit but that i don't think she really has any control of or will have control of until she's a little bit older so i can't really fault her for that one really i should have her be outside when people come over so that she can get all of her little piddling piddliness out 
outside. So that's really more my fault than it is her fault. But I just got her also, along with the giant pink elephant, some new chews that she can kind of snack on while I'm recording. And she had a couple um, that we got her when we first brought her home, a couple like little puppy raw hides, but she's tearing through them a little bit too quick. So I got her some ones that should take her a little bit longer. So I think I bought us some time to be able to get a little bit of recording done today. So we've got, let's see, Carno, Rhino, Mammoth, and RGs. Nothing that particularly interests me at this moment as, ooh, a Deodon. I think we might get ourselves a Deodon for this next bout of missions. I say missions, obviously not like Genesis part two kind of missions, but more along the lines of, we need to go find a, <laughs> fight bosses missions. If only I could take the Deodon underwater to help defend me <laughs> against the, the artifact with all the sharks and the murder and the death. But she hasn't quite figured out, back to the dog, hasn't quite figured out how to actually eat like a rawhide. And this isn't even a, like a rawhide. It's like peanut butter and chicken and vegetables or whatever. I don't even, I don't even know. I just know that it's, a, Sarah's giving me like uh, some approved brands, essentially. She's like, typically things from these brands are, are good. Cause she's done like all the research. So I'm like, sweet. Cause who knows what you're even feeding your dog these days. I mean, all human food is essentially processed. I'd imagine it's probably similar for dog. I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, we got her something though that I think she seems to be enjoying, but she doesn't know how to prop it up between her feet, like between her paws quite yet. So she leaves the raw hide or whatever toy that she's chewing on. She usually leaves it on the ground and she just kind of cocks her head to the side and tries to eat it off the ground instead of being able to prop it up <laughs> with her hands. It's very cute. Okay. That was a lot deadlier than I was hoping it would be. That almost ended really poorly for us. So how much stats do we get? Only, yeah, it only goes up by 10. That's not nearly enough. All right, let's go ahead and get this hide. We might as well grab it. It's here. And our Iguanodon needs a little bit of time to heal. Gerald, you feeling okay, dude? Those direwolves really took a... Man, they really laid into you. Look at all this metal here, by the way. That's gonna be really handy if we, if we, I mean, if we need it. But we went from 3,800 health to 1,600 health really fast. And the kind of annoying thing about the Iguanodon is it seems to heal much slower than some of the other dinos that we've tamed. I don't know what the deal is with that, but we're just gonna have to make do. Okay, so here's a mammoth. Again, I don't think we need to tame a mammoth, but if we found a really high level one, I would maybe change my tune on that because they have some really great debuffs that they can throw out ever since they got the TLC. Okay, so they're fighting Deodon. Uh, okay, there's a Yuba. We're gonna stay on the mountainside like a goat. Oh no, careful, 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 careful. Gentle. I want to get to like the open plains on the other side of this mountain. Just need to watch out because this is the mountain that the Gigas tend to spawn on. And I don't know if we're going to be able to outrun a Giga with Gerald. It could get ugly fast. Really, I probably should have walked along the jungle side to get to where I want to go. But hey, we're here now. This is what's happening. And we can actually, let's just go over to the forest here. Megatherium, here we go. There are two of them. Oh wait, no, that's that's not a Megatherium. Those are the poop flingers. Those darn poop flingers. All right, and we would have to, they're passive tames with beer, if I'm not mistaken. Little four-legged alcoholics is what they are. So we're gonna move past those, no interest there. I do love the woolly rhino, rhinos. I've never actually tamed one. In all of our years, in Ark, I've never tamed a woolly rhino. I think it'll be really fun when Sarah and I eventually do our series that we want to do where we go and we gather a list of every single creature in Ark and we go and we tame it. I think that is going to be a ton of fun when we 
eventually do that. Okay, there's actually a Megatherium. Level 20. That's all we got going on there. All right, the last thing we want to do is get into a fight. Oh, I see another one. Do not want to get in a fight with that Spino. All right, we got two of them up here. We got a level 8 and a level 92. All right, level 92. I think we will leave that level 92 there for now. And just make a little mental note as to where we found it. It was a male 92. It's not going anywhere. We're not going to be wiping any of the wild dinos right now. So we're just going to leave it here. And if we can't find anything better, we will be back for it. Male 92. That is not, not bad. Not bad. It's actually quite good. All right. As much as possible, we need to avoid any kind of additional confrontations. The dire wolves are going to be faster than me. And I'm not healing, hearing any howling. So that is a good sign that we have, our presence has gone undetected. Hopefully Pippin does not drop a suit of armor down the well to alert the entirety of the goblin population that we have arrived. Am I mixing my franchises and stories? Yes. But that happens sometimes, all right? You just gotta, you just gotta roll with it. You just gotta roll with it. Like Dungeons and Dragons, yo. Does anyone here play Dungeons and Dragons? You have to let me know because Sarah and I, as, oh, hey, hold on. Male 116. Okay, I don't even have to look anymore. I know we're gonna tame that. It seems like a good area. There's not any other Megatheriums in the area. And we've got 1900 health. I think we should be able to withstand the the assault that's about to be coming our way. All right, Gerald, you got to hang in there, big guy. Oh, he's doing a lot of damage. All right, if Gerald goes, we're gonna be in uh, we're gonna be in some trouble. All right, we're gonna use the crossbow because it shoots a little bit faster. Uh oh. Uh, okay, Gerald, let's go, dude. Let's go. No, you, no, you, Dally, you're good. <laughs> You're a good girl. You don't have to go anywhere. Very good. Look at that. Uh-oh. It is coming for us, though. How many more shots can this dude take, though? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Perhaps we've gotten to a sweet spot. Have we cheesed it? All we got to do is get this guy to run from us. But not because he can't reach us. Don't want this to be a trap again. Like the Sarko. <laughs> like the Sarko that nearly murdered us. Oh, the Megatherium's hiding among the mammoths. There he goes, there he goes. Oh, how's that tree stuck between a rock and a wood place? Oh, wow, wow, nice dodge. Totally juked me out with that one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, game. Keep up. I do not want to miss and hit a hit the mammoth. All right, this was almost a, a disaster, but it actually worked out really well. Uh oh, uh oh, wait, wait, wait! Why are you attacking me? You're supposed to be running for your life. I spoke way too soon. Go to sleep, dude. Go to sleep. Gerald, run. Because I think I also just heard dire wolves. Oh crap. Oh no. No, Rad, go! Put the put the gun away and run! Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh no, please. No, please. Please be water! And we got dire wolves. I have to hope that I can swim faster than everybody. Wow, I swim so slow. Oh, crap. And piranhas! Okay, 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 okay. Wow. This all went south so fast. 
Okay, all right, 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 all did not quite go the way that I was expecting it to. I thought we had it. I thought we way had it. Shoot, man. If I had not upgraded to the flak armor at the beginning of this episode, we'd be done. We'd be done. We'd be dead. After, oh, man. Oh. <laughs> Okay, well, we lost Gerald, which sucks. That was a really good Iguanodon that we just lost. All right, and I'm not regaining health at a blistering pace. So let's go ahead and do this. It'll warm me up. Should help my health to come back a little bit faster, hopefully. Dang. Well, now what? I guess I should run back home. What an escape, though, huh? How about how, about how lucky that was? That we ended up hitting exactly where we needed to in the water. Incredible. Maybe we should tame a mammoth. Just so we can use it to tame other beasties. But I, I'm not going to do that right now. I don't even have the mammoth saddle on me. Oh, man. We got to get... Oh, there's a Yuba. Okay. Where there's a Yuba, there's usually Carnos. And we can't outrun anything as that f bout with the megatherium made abundantly clear dang what is the torpor on those guys anyway gee whiz i'm like i'm just kind of nervous so i'm just kind of sitting up here because i'm not really sure where to take us next because so i'd like to get home but home is across this wintry terror and there could be piranhas in that water and I have no melee weapons really to defend myself okay well nice jump Jacob this is a really good way to start the traversing of the of the river dude dude come on there we go oh there was a piranha did you see him whip on over here hmm this is bad this is bad. Let's let's go back. Let's go back. And now I'm starving. All right, all right. We're still good. We're still good. We're still good. We're still alive. <laughs> so maybe we should count our blessings at the fact that we are actually still one sixteen Yuba. Okay, hold on. We're we are not gonna try to tame this right now. Okay, so nobody freak out. Unless we can get to the most perfect cheese spot ever, which I don't even see. Oh my gosh, there's so many Carnos with it. Please don't, please don't hurt me. Huh. Dang. This is just, this is just bad. This is just bad in every sense. I feel like we have to go through the jungle. We have to get a little more inland because we can't cross here. The river is too dense. With piranhas and coldness and death. Some of my least favorite things. <laughs> oh, I thought those rocks were something. Okay, thankfully, I'm not too afraid of raptors. As their torpor, it's... Oh, crap. We might be done. Yep, here come the carnos. Okay, hopefully we can swim faster than a Carno. Oh, oh gosh. Oh my gosh! Oh no, and I'm out of stamina. Back up, back up. This is it. This is it. Yep, it's, it's all over. No, red! Oh!
That is an exceptionally painful loss. Oh. Dang it. That, that really sucks. That really sucks. Dang it, man. Man, I was really, really enjoying that character. Dang. All right, well, on to the next. Gee whiz, man. Just, oh wait, no, 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 we can't, I'm not respawning the same character. What are we doing? Oh, man. Those Megatheriums, man. Oh, I thought we had that guy. And we were gonna be walking away at the end of this episode with a level one something. Was it 112, 118 Megatherium? Oh man, I was feeling it. I thought we had it with that grand escape off the cliffside. Like after that escape, it just felt like we had to survive because it was too good. <laughs> oh, was not the case. Was not the case. All right, let's find the the stats here while. Team, team, team. Player stats per level. Okay, so our oxygen is up a little bit. Our speed is up a little bit. Let's go ahead and do our weight. So instead of getting 10, uh, 10 points per level, what? Should we, we should get 25. Is that how that works? Um, which would be nice. It's just a little, little help with the grindiness. Having to run. I should have done that before I was gathering all that metal. I wouldn't have had to make so many trips back and forth. But dang! What a. What a. Man! Ever since Jade, we've just been really struggling to. to get our stride back. I thought we were really hitting it good with Red. I thought we were in a good spot, making really good progress. I liked where we were on the map. But. That's. That's it. I mean. I'm trying to switch up the strategy and the locations every time, but really having like some of our first tames being trying to tame them up in the north part of the map, it was that's probably a mistake. It probably is just not ideal, probably not very wise. So perhaps I shouldn't shouldn't do that. So let's go ahead and we are actually going to come back back down. All right, and let's make our character real quick. Let's make, um, so let's see. The last guy we did was Count. Let's make Thor. That'll be our new character. Thor's got blue eyes, right? Uh, okay, so Thor, dude, is gonna be, he's got a bit of a, a, a thicker head. Yeah, because you can really tell how much difference that made. <laughs> Neck size, we're gonna up a little bit. Chest is gonna be pretty big. His shoulders, huge torso width we're gonna bring in to give him that Greek god physique even though I know Thor's not not a Greek god uh, height oh yeah look at that okay that that person just looks like a freak torso depth let's check this out suck it in just a little bit and make his pecs pop oh my gosh his pecs are popping a little bit too much all right hands we'll make them a little bit bigger arm length is I don't want to look like a like a primate. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So we're gonna Oh my gosh, look at the size of this dude. That's just and then like that. No, I'm just kidding. Uh I want him to look a little ridiculous, but I Yeah, okay. There we go. And then leg length, let's just make him a little bit taller. Upper leg, let's beef him up just a smidge. And then his calves. And his feet, obviously. Yep, there we go. There's Thor. And we got to make his head a little bit bigger. It's too small for his body right now. It might be too big. There we go. Love it. <laughs> Dude is freaking huge. Thor. <laughs> I'm excited for this one. This will be a fun one. And I'm thinking about building in this little... Oh, no, because a Titanosaur spawns over there. Let's look at this map for a second and try to figure out where we want to build. Okay, um, 
could build on one of the penguin islands, but that's so far away from everything. It's one thing I don't want to do is build so far away from resources again. Um, obviously not Carnivore Island. That's a huge mistake. Uh, there's some bases of mountains. It's not ideal. We could build... What I was thinking is the little... Like the little indent, I suppose, around the massive cave here. Uh, that's kind of a, a neat little area. Kind of dig that spot. You know, let's let's go look at that spot and see how we feel about it. All right, let's see. But before we do that, let's go ahead and finish the look. So this is how, if any of you guys are wondering, how I always start out the Let's Plays is we need to make sure that the, that the, oh my gosh, he's freaking huge. Okay, so we come in here, we're gonna drop all everything. Then we're gonna come to Skizzers. All right, but we have to set head hair percent to one and then set facial hair percent to one. There we go. Now we take the skizzers. We're going to do a little bit of a cut and now we can see what we want to do. Okay, so we're going to do Thor. Let's see. what do we, How do we want to do this? How do we want him to look? Styled fade, braided, no, wilderness. Oh, hey, that's actually not bad. We'll go ahead and do that one for the hair and then for the facial hair. You could do, let's see, short beard, no beard, Viking beard. Maybe it's the Viking beard. Maybe that's what we should go with. Curly, mutton chops. Um, I mean, I'm kind of digging that. Not really, though. Wish I could have it, like, real short. But that just looks weird. <laughs> it just looks like it's not really coming through all the way, does it? What does this look like? Eh, that's not too bad, but I don't want it to be blonde. I don't want his beard to be blonde, too. So let's go ahead and cut that, and then we're going to cheat GFI brown. One, one, zero. Get that brown coloring, and then we're going to go facial hair, dye it brown. There we go. So now we go back, set head, hair, hair, percent one, set facial hair percent one boom and there we go actually i kind of hate the hair i kind of hate the hair so anyway i'm doing this on camera i don't know why uh, it's just because i'm depressed and i i need i need comfort in this moment that's actually a good look right there i think we're gonna go with that let's do let's do that and then we'll All right, I can dig it. <laughs> it's Bro Thor, Surfer Thor. Wow. All right, so next, ep actually, let's let's go ahead and continue this episode and find where. Oh yeah, because I'm in creative mode. We gotta get back out of that. Let's find where we want to build, and then um, next episode I will do some of the grinding. I will have already done some of the grinding off camera. So that we don't have to go through what we just went through again. Because we don't, we don't want to do that. I don't want to subject you guys to have to watch through the grinding portion all over again. Um, okay, so I'm thinking about building in here. I like this alcove. It's right next to the water. I could hop over to Herbivore Island for some metal if I needed some. There's lots of creatures, carnivores and herbivores over here. So it's a little bit different than our Herbivore Island base. It's not really flat, but it's flat enough for a starter base. Um, yeah, so I think I think we'll just build in here. Lots of resources, lots of stone, lots of wood. We have water right around the corner or right in front of us. Um, I think this is where we will build up this time because it seems that every time we're going into... Oh, I need to, I need to drop that. Every time we go more north, and we're like, let's try it even harder. 
by spawning in a hard area. We just we just get annihilated every time. So this time, let's uh let's stay a little more south, and we'll give it another go. All right. Well, next episode, be sure to tune in because Thor will have his base completed. Well, a little starter base with some materials, and we will once again embark on our journey to conquer the Ark. Oh man, I'm feeling a little, I'm feeling a little beat down. This this was a tough pill to, sw to swallow, but deciding to start a little bit more south again, and I actually really like this character. I think it'll be fun. We'll name a lot of the the creatures and stuff like vi uh, stuff from Viking mythology. <laughs> That'll be kind of fun. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and we will see all of you on the flip side.